Hello everyone. Now before moving further, let's have a quick introduction to Python first of all. So what actually Python is? Let's understand that first of all. So Python is nothing but a general purpose interpreted, interactive, object oriented and high level programming language which was developed by Guido van Rossum in the late 80s and early 90s at the National Research Institute for Mathematics and Computer Science in the Netherlands. Now, like Perl, Python source code is also available under the GNU, which is General Public License. Now, this course gives enough understanding on Python programming language. The main charm of Python lies in its ease of syntax because it uses English keywords frequently, whereas other languages use punctuation and it has fewer syntactical constructions than other languages. So there's a huge difference when it comes about ease of using in Python language as compared to other programming languages. Python provides simplicity and ease of using scripting language along with more advanced software engineering tools. It is a high level interpreted interactive and object oriented scripting language and it is designed to be highly readable. Now let's talk about its technical strengths. The first strength is its object oriented nature. Because Python supports polymorphism, operator overloading, inheritance and serves powerful code structuring. So it basically supports almost all the object oriented concepts and it supports object oriented style or technique of programming as well which encapsulates code within objects. Now another important technical feature of Python is that it is developed under an OSI approved open source license making it freely usable and distributable even for commercial use. Python's license is administered by the Python Software Foundation. Now another important feature of Python being is portability. You can use Python on a wide variety of hardware platforms and has the same interface on all the platforms. The next important feature of Python is its hybrid nature. Its toolset places it between traditional scripting languages and systems development languages. Python provides all the simplicity and ease of use of a scripting language along with more advanced software engineering tools typically found in compiled languages. So unlike some useful for large scale development projects, so unlike some scripting languages, this, com this combination makes Python useful for large scale development projects. Python is easy for analysts to learn and use, but powerful enough to tackle even the most difficult problems in virtually any domain. It integrates well with existing IT infrastructure and is very platform independent. Among modern languages, its agility and the productivity of Python based solution is legendary. Now, what do we mean by its next trends which says mixable? It means that Python programs can easily be glued to components written in other languages in a variety of different ways. Uh, say, for example, Python's C API lets C programs call and be called by Python programs flexibly. That means you, you can add a functionality to the Python system as needed and use Python programs within other environments or systems. The next feature being its ease of use. Now, it's relatively easy to use as compared to other programming languages. When you compare it with alternatives like C++, Java and C Sharp, Python programming seems astonishingly simple to most observers. Now to run a Python program, you simply type it and run in. There are no intermediate compile and linking steps like there are for languages such as C or C++. Python executes programs immediately, which makes for an interactive programming experience and rapid turnaround after program changes in many cases. You can witness the effect of a program change nearly as fast as you can type it. So of course, development cycle turnaround is only one aspect of Python's ease of use. It also provides a deliberately simple syntax and powerful built-in tools when you compare it with other alternatives of its type. In fact, some have gone so far as to call Python executable pseudocode because it eliminates much of the complexity in other tools. Python programs are simpler, smaller and more flexible than equivalent programs in other popular languages. Now, Along with it being easy to use, it is also easy to learn. So it's relatively easy to learn when it is compared with other alternatives of its type, especially when compared to widely used programming languages, the core Python language is remarkably easy to learn. In fact, if you're an experienced programmer, you can expect to be coding small scale Python programs in a matter of days. 
and may be able to pick up some limited portions of language in just hours. Though you shouldn't expect to become an expert quite that fast, despite what you may have heard from marketing departments, naturally mastering any topic as substantial as today's Python is not trivial and we'll devote the rest of this course to this task, but the true investment required to master Python is worthwhile. In the end, you'll gain programming skills that apply to nearly every computer application domain. Moreover, most find Python's learning curve to be much gentler than other of its alternative programming tools. So that's a good news for professional developers seeking to learn the language to use on the job as well as for end users of systems that expose a Python layer for customization or control. So today many systems rely on the fact that end users can learn enough Python to tailor their Python customization code on site with little or no support. Moreover, Python has spawned a large group of users who program for fun instead of career and may never need full-scale software development skills. So although Python does have advanced programming tools, its core language essentials will still seem relatively simple to beginners and gurus alike. So that's it for a quick overview and an introduction to Python. We'll continue with more relevant details in our upcoming video sessions.